Hello and welcome to Racing at Dubai and I'm not going to go near that far. So what do you do? Well, you force close the game, meaning you crash it. You start it again and the crew is still hired. I went offline and I've loaded the race. Now I can go back online. So if there's any phone calls or texts or anything like that, I can get that. You just need to be offline when you're entering the race. Uh, I could go that far, but gosh, I don't want to. So I've had a lot of people telling me that I really should be giving this race another try because it pays a massive amount of fame. And I don't know if that's true or not. So one way to find that out is to test it. Now, to do something like this adequately, you got to do a few trial runs and it can take a little bit while to, uh, to really dial it in. So I've done a few tests. This isn't my first time doing it because honestly, my first couple of times doing this, I was having pretty serious trouble. This is a really interesting car in that, well, what just happened right there. When you lose the back end at lower speeds, it can just keep going and going and you can slide a long time. At low speeds, this car feels loose and heavy. And that's just how I would describe it because it start, when it starts to slide, it slides a long time. So it feels loose and heavy, but once you get up to speed, you, are you seeing this? I didn't lift off the throttle once. That doesn't happen in any other car in this game. It just, it's not gonna happen. Now right here, I know some people do a, oh boy, there we go. I didn't enter that correctly. So, you know, gotta be careful. We're gonna fast forward a little bit here. So we've skipped ahead a while. Uh, we're into the perpetual point here. And I don't want to be off track too much. So I'm trying to find my best method here because when I'm off track, I'm not earning fame, but I also don't want to give up too much momentum. Check this out. This is kind of cool. Woo! You can just undercut those guys. It's pretty cool. At this point, the bots are as hard as they're going to get and they're going to stay that way. So the nice thing is once you learn how to get around the bots at this point, you just can do it every single time. And check it out. I mean, man, you can stay pinned for so much. So I've opted to do a little breaking point here. Other people lift for a little bit. I'm having trouble getting a feel for the lifting. And so, you know, it's, it's often faster to break a little bit. You can break and get back to the throttle or you could lift longer and then get back to the throttle. And then I'm trying to cut this as little as possible. So I want to get back on the track and then find a way to stay full throttle here. But look at that, slightest nick when I was doing my corner and I just slide and slide and slide and slide. Anyhow, and oh, tag, I'm it. So we've, we've skipped ahead some more and it's hard to see. So there you go. You can see we're actually really far in this race already. With this car, with that massive wing, you can almost never see the distance unless someone switches views. Now, this is, I titled this video, The Bull of Dubai the bully of Dubai, but honestly, it's like a bull. You can just smash people. You can smash people so much in this car and it seems totally inconsequential. You don't seem to lose any speed, but you definitely lose some traction and some braking ability. So I found in this section, I really noticed my, my little bit of degradation of grip. Also, this last corner, if I didn't get it just right, the trajectory, woo! Once you get the feel for this car, it's crazy. We're skipping ahead. Of, check this out. Pit maneuver. Sped ahead a little bit and then slowed it down to see the pit maneuver. Here we warped ahead again. Gotta love those seamless warps. I mean, if you're watching closely, you can see it happening, but I try to keep the editing kind of fun. So there we go. A little bit of warps. And look how tight this group is getting in. Oh, major tag. Now here's the thing. This race is very easy however when you get hit it is really detrimental if you get a bad hit that throws you throws your rear end out like that you slide for a long time and i want to show you how hard this can get like look at that it takes me a long time to catch up to bots again like that's a long time of not seeing anybody and my timer gets dangerously low here and I'm just going to show you that it gets it gets really bad for me for a bit here. And it's uh, like, you know, here, I'm catching up. It should be fine, right? There's a double bot right away is there. But look, I'm almost out of time. Okay, past three guys, pass, and boom! 
I do it again. And again, I'm in trouble. Now, I'll, I, it, I'll catch this. Oh, nuts. I forgot. I already passed him. Yeah, so it's not necessarily as easy as it appears. Now, here, warping ahead a bit, speeding through this just a little bit, and then we'll, uh, let's see here. We'll do a little bit of a, another bit of a time warp. Okay, so let's see what lap I'm on here. Boom, we'll do another time warp. There we go. Getting pretty far, 89 clicks. That's pretty far already. So I'm probably around 50 miles here. Um, getting pretty close to that anyhow. And, ah, oh, it's fun. I love the drafting feature in some of these. Sometimes navigating through the traffic is rough. That cut right there is very iffy um, because it's such a sharp corner. So you can take a slight cut there if you want to. And a lot of the times, if you want to regain control in this car, you just have to lift off the throttle for a skosh and get back into it. Now check, oh, weird. So there is my damage that I've lost some of the grip of this car and I just couldn't take it through there. So because that was so detrimental, it, it would have been way better if I got out of the throttle for a second or two. So here we are, 90, 100 kilometers. I was gonna say 99, 100 kilometers. And still, I mean, I, I, I'm still getting in trouble once in a while where I've got to, got to do some recovery mode. So it's a challenging race. I'm not sure how well it pays. Um, I am doing this on a bonus fame day, so I'll sh and I've hired the agent and, and the manager, but I'll do the math and then I'll subtract everything so you can see the core fame per minute. That's always important, or I should say the base fame per minute. That's what we have to use so we can measure and see, is this a good race or not? Because some people will say, oh, this race pays 1,700 fame per minute. Well, what does that mean? Oh, well, that's when I hired the agent. Oh, well, that means it only pays 850 fame per minute. And there's lots of races that pay more than that. So I got to give you an apples to apples comparison. That means what's the fame per minute without the agent and without a fame bonus day. And that's what I'm going to give you at the end of this. I'll give you both. But uh, woo, tag, another tag. Here's all the bully shots. Look at this. Smacking people left, right, and center. And getting, oh, tagging him. <clears throat> it seems like if you hit people pretty pretty squarely, you're okay. But as you saw earlier, if I hit someone incorrectly, if, I don't even know if I should say it that way. It's racing. We're not supposed to hit people, right? If you tag a person the wrong way, you're going to go flying off track. So it's kind of interesting how it works. Uh, at a certain point here, you're going to see the screenshot. Here we go. Check it out. One, two, baby. <laughs> I love it. That's a nasty maneuver. I mean, come on, that's pretty awesome. You don't get a lot of those, a double takeout. So uh, two for one, two for one deal. I passed him on the outside. That's not easy in this car, I'm going off track a bit because this car loses a ton of speed when you go off track. There's a bigger cut and flight shot. Yeah, baby, this car flies. Actually at Laguna Seca, take on the corkscrew. Holy smokes, does this car fly. But uh, you can also fly it here. I don't recommend that cut here because you're giving up a lot of speed and you're giving up fame per minute. So here, I was just gonna wind it down and I decided, you know what, let's, let's go for it. This car goes just as fast backwards as it does forwards, but then you get this cool spin around maneuver you can do like this. I didn't quite get it right, but uh, anyways, there we go. Let's get to those base numbers. So once we get to the, uh, the final screen, I'm gonna throw a whole bunch of math at you and then we're gonna have to bring up a comparison. So race time was 41 minutes and the fame is quite good, but really not much better than I was getting at Indy Road Course. You uh, can check out a video link I'll throw up in a couple of seconds. So it's good, but it's not the best, but it is great. So still up there in the top three or four of the races, I'd say, and not very difficult. So please like, please subscribe, and I'll bring up something interesting again. Bye-bye.